Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, help us in this day to look for you and to look for opportunities to care for one another. Lord, help us to be thankful for this day that you have given and look unto it with, as an opportunity to wonder at your creation yet again and find our place in the care and protection of it. Lord, help us to be careful in our use of, of the gift of this life that we may use it to praise you, that we may use it to, to be a blessing to one another, that we may use it to lead one another well. And Lord, even as we are led to offer up as praise a, a humble heart, but one that is seeking wisdom and wants all people to, to hear the testimony of your word, not for our sakes, not for our wants, not for getting things our way, but for all of us growing in following your way. And that is Christ. And so we look to Christ as our example, and we ask, O oh Lord, for, for a better understanding of how we might walk in Jesus' way, that we might listen to, to his words and teachings, that we might offer up that commandment to love one another in, in the way we live out our lives as, as not only uh, a way of seeking out affection and attention, but, Lord, of of hoping to pass on a blessing that we may never see again, but Lord, you will see where it goes and how it how it serves your kingdom and, and the building up of that kingdom and the helping of, of others. Lord, we, we pray today for those others that come to be a part of your church that are spiritually hungry, that are struggling uh, with aspects of life. Lord, help us to be a good servant to them. Help us to care for children in our midst and youth. And Lord, guide them as best we can and, and not to become frustrated. Lord, when they ask questions that we don't always have the best answer to. But Lord, feel that challenge and engage in that challenge and, and, and share with them what it means to grow in faith that uh, the answers come from you, O oh Lord, and it, it takes patience and time, and that is one of the great gifts we have in your grace, uh, that we may even have this time together with your word. And so we ask your blessing, O oh Lord, and your spirit's guidance. This in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. And we look near to the beginning of Scripture, to Genesis chapter 1 at verse 14. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of heaven and to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. And that's what we have. Sometimes it is, life is moments. Sometimes it's, it's days, sometimes it's seasons, sometimes it's years. However we measure those days, each one, each, each moment, each season brings a change, brings a challenge, brings a newness, brings a, a, a renewal in who we are meant to be and how we might serve God, allows us to waken, to see life in a whole new way, and in that new vision of what life is, to honor God in new ways, yet turning to his word to, to be guided in, in, in what is most firm, God's, God's love, the, the great light of life uh, that, that Jesus came to, to teach us about, to show us about, and to be the example of as he took the cross. And, and we, we are meant to, to take that challenge and to be like Christ out into people's lives because there's so many people that, um, that, that don't have this, this word to share, don't, don't understand or know or, or trust this story for whatever reason in our faith, even as these seasons are signs of God's love. So we like the passage of time need to be a sign of God's love in the grace that we show, in, in, in the patience that we have, in our willingness to wait for all things to happen in God's time. And I know I sound like I'm, I'm reading from Ecclesiastes here, but all, these, all this word of God's time knits together to help us understand that our fulfillment will come in God and, and in God's time and, and in God's goodness and in, in, in the time that God has set and the way that God has set time. We will find our place until we are drawn into his eternity. God bless and keep you. Amen.